If you had three wishes, what would you wish for? That question has fueled the imagination of children and adults for years, but that question is posed to King Solomon in 2 Chronicles chapter 1. Only, he's not given three wishes, he's given one. And it's not a fantasy or a daydream, it's a real live offer from a real live God. Let's find out more. After showing tremendous dedication and loyalty to God in 2 Chronicles chapter 1, verse 6, then Solomon is approached by God. And God gives Solomon a choice. He says, I will give you anything you ask for. In other words, I'll give you one wish. Now, instead of asking for himself, Solomon asked for wisdom. Not so he could be the smartest man in the world, but so he could guide and lead God's people well. In other words, Solomon's wish was for the good of the people and the glory of God. And God was so taken by Solomon's request that he not only granted that request, but he granted all the ones that he didn't ask for, wisdom and fame and renown. Now, I know this sounds like a fairy tale, God grants Solomon one wish, but the power of the story is not in the wish. The power of the story is in the condition of Solomon's heart. You see, the wish just revealed the nature and the character of Solomon's heart, longing for the good of the people and the glory of God. So this week, if God were to give you just one wish, what would you wish for? And what would that reveal about the nature and the character of your heart? I'm praying that this week you live out a life that if God asked, let me give you just one wish, what would it be? It'll be one for the good of others and the glory of God. Live that way this week, and we'll see you next week.